what is up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling and today me and my dog woody are going to be bringing you our wwe wrestlemania 35 predictions video let's get right into it so initially what i'm going to be doing is there is a rumored match that is not confirmed yet but it has been put out there um and that is the revival versus zack Ryder and a kurt hawkins for the raw tag team championships um, after Raw went off air, there was a YouTube video that went up of a backstage like confrontation between the two teams, and Ryder and Hawkins actually challenged them, but the Revival said they would think about it. So this match isn't confirmed for the card, um, however I am doing this after both Raw and Smackdown Go Home shows have aired, so I think I'm safe, um, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I believe that Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins would win because the Revival have just been constantly complaining about their spot in WWE. And they're going to leave when the contract, is, contract expires. So what's the point in, like, you know, getting them any longer? But Woody hasn't done a prediction for this one. Um, so we're going to move on. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have the WWE Women's Battle Royal. And um, I honestly think WWE would be stupid to give this to anyone other than Asuka. They've put her through so much recently, having her lose her championship literally two weeks uh, before going into WrestleMania. It's just gonna, it's gotta be heartbreaking, surely, thinking that you're gonna go into WrestleMania as champion and then just having it snatched away from you last minute. Um, and I think to repay her, I mean, it'll be quite a half assed apology or repayment, but I feel like the Women's Battle Royal will be probably, as of right now, the best way to do that. Um, so Asuka is my pick. Woody, what about you? Okay, guys, so next up is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, and what we're doing is basically, I, don't, I can't even remember their names. Is it Colin? Colin My and Michael, I can't remember their last names. But, um, so they're gonna be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. They're the Saturday Night Live presenters. Ron Strowman's gonna be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, there's quite a few this year, you know. Um, I forgot, I asked Zach a couple of weeks ago who he thinks winning. Um, and Zach has great battle royal luck. Um, I mean, like two years ago, he picked Mo Mojo Rawley to win, and no one else believed that he would. And Mojo Rawley went and won. So Zach is always the one to talk to for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He's had quite a bit of luck. Um, but I honestly think Braun Strowman, um, once again, it's just another way to um, like give an apology or a repayment to Braun, considering he's been going slower and slower and slower. And lower and lower and lower down the card. Um, so his momentum has got slower and down the card he's getting lower. So basically they had nothing for him at WrestleMania other than giving him a feud with some Saturday Night Live guys. And I think because of that Braun should win. Other than that there is a few names that can be thrown in. Um, like Andrade, obviously Jeff Hardy's in there. Matt won it last year so not Matt. Uh, Jeff, Apollo Crews even, you know, people like that. Um, but yeah, my pick is Braun Strowman. Woody, what's your pick, mate? Okay, guys, so Woody's gone with Apollo Crews. Um, but we are moving on to the Cruiserweight Championship match. This is between Tony Nese and Buddy Murphy. Obviously, Tony Nese won a tournament on 205 Live to be in this position. However, Murphy is just such a good champion. Such a good champion. I'm picking Buddy to retain because I, I don't want him to lose it to anyone. There's literally no one on the 205 Live roster that I want to see dethrone Buddy Murphy. I think he should be champion forever. And a long championship main reign makes it even better when they eventually lose it. So Woods, who are you going with, mate? Next up is a newly announced match that was on last night's SmackDown. Made by Alexa Bliss, we got the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. This is between the Usos, The Bar, Rusev and Nakamura, and Alistair Black and Ricochet. So across WrestleMania weekend and the week before, Ricochet and Alistair Black have had a shot at the Raw Tag Team titles. We'll get a shot at the NXT Tag Team Championships from winning the Dusty Rose Classic. And a SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Imagine if they won all three. How amazing would that have been? But anyway, I'm going with the Usos. This match is thrown together. There's no Hardy Boys. Um, if the Hardy Boys were in it and made it a ladder match, that would have been so much better. But no, they were thrown into the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, unfortunately. I'm going with the Usos because, honestly, I don't believe any of the teams. I feel like it is too early to put the, um, the tag titles on Alistair Black and Ricochet a bit, maybe. I don't know. Is that a controversial opinion? But um, Rusev and Nakamura, no. Sheamus and Cesaro know the Usos keep it on them. Woods, who do you think? 
Great minds think alike, he's picked the Usos as well. Moving on, ladies and gents, we got the, um, the very much anticipated, this should be the main event of WrestleMania. Baron Corbin versus Kurt Angle. Why? Why? Pathetic. Pathetic. Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin in Kurt Angle's farewell match, his retirement match. Now, I am begging, begging, all the dirt sheets are saying that this isn't going to happen. However, I am fingers crossed hoping that this is a squash match. Kurt Angle destroys Baron Corbin and says, well, I kind of expected a bit more than that. And you just hear, do, 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 and Cena comes out and they have a match, honestly. But yeah, Kurt Angle's winning. Fuck that. Fuck Baron Corbin. Angle's winning. Woody, who do you think, mate? So Woody's gone with Kurt Angle as well, smart dog. Next up, ladies and gents, we've got the Falls Count Anywhere match between The Miz and Shane McMahon. Um, I'm going with The Miz. I mean, when, why does Shane need a victory? Let's be honest. Uh, why? Has Shane ever... Has Shane even won at WrestleMania? Who did he... Shane won last year at WrestleMania. He doesn't need to win again. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they squashed Sammy and Kevin last year, but that was obviously for Daniel Bryan's return, so fair enough. But no, Miz can win. Miz can go over Falls Count Anywhere. Skull crushing finale onto a chair, maybe. Maybe even Shane McMahon's gonna, you know, the big ring. If you've seen the construction pictures of the WrestleMania set, there's a giant ring like there was at WrestleMania 33 above the stage. Maybe Shane's gonna dive off of the top of that. No, he won't. He'll kill himself. But um, yeah, I'm going with the Miz. Woody, who are you picking, mate? Okay, so Woody's gone literally with the Miz as well. Um, but yeah, stop trying to match my predictions, dog. Anyway, moving on. Women's Tag Team Championship match. We've got Nia Jax and Tamina, the Iconics, Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Beth Phoenix coming out of retirement. Um, obviously, she had a match on Raw, but you know, this is a little like thing going on. And the Boss and Hug Connection, bleh, Sasha and Bailey, Much better name. And yeah, I don't want to see them drop the uh, drop the championships just yet. If I'm honest with you, I think that Sasha and Bailey are doing quite all right. I think they should just retain. But yeah, I'm not really you know buzzing for this match. But you know, I'll appreciate it for what it is. But I think Sasha and Bailey are going to win. Woody, mate, who's your prediction? Okay, guys. So moving on, we are going to this questionable match. We don't know if it's going to happen. Rey Mysterio versus Samoa Joe for the United States Championship. Now, Rey got injured. He got an ankle injury on Raw. And it is question... He, did, he missed his match with Andrade on SmackDown that was meant to happen. They had to cancel that. And, yeah, this is... I mean, I hope it goes ahead. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind it not going ahead. And then we get a surprise opponent like Andrade. Um, but, anyway, Rey versus Joe. It should be a good match. Dominic was involved... But it's so confusing. There's so many matches. It's WrestleMania 2000 all over again. Um, but yeah, so I'm just picking Samoa Joe to win because Joe should really... The United States Championship needs to be built back up. And I think a really long championship reign, a really dominant championship reign for Samoa Joe will be able to do that. Woody, who are you picking? I swear he's copying me, I swear. Anyways, moving on, ladies and gents, we've got the Intercontinental Championship match. Bobby Lashley versus... <laughs> Demon Finn Balor. Don't know what that was all about on Raw. Um, I saw the demon, and then Finn started pulling all these faces, and I was just a bit like... You know that uh, meme that's going around with, like, Kofi's face, where he's just a bit like... Yeah, that's how I felt. But yeah, Demon Finn Balor is winning. The one thing I'm scared about, and this is just because I'm a nerd... Um, I don't want to see the, in, the white strap of the Intercontinental Championship get covered in black paint. So if Finn could do a really cool white demon, that would be awesome. But yeah, demon's winning. Not really looking forward to this match. It's a demon match, so you've got to look forward to it because they are bringing the demon out. How many more times can I say demon? Um, but yeah, so Finn Balor's winning. Woody, do you agree? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you agree. He's 100% copying me, I swear. Moving on, Triple H versus Batista. Um, Batista. Um, and if Triple H loses, he has to retire, which I will cry. And I'm not, not you know, too man enough to admit that because, you know, I love Triple H. But, yeah, Triple H is, um, Triple H has got to win, surely. There's no way. He's one of the only, like, he's not even old. He's just older wrestler that can still go with the young guys. Um, so people like Undertaker, 
um, they get blown out halfway through a match, but Triple H can still go. I mean, you've seen it. If you, For an example, his match against Seth Rollins literally two years ago, fantastic. Triple H can still put on a main event worthy match. So I don't want him to retire unless he wants to retire before he you know, gets to the Undertaker levels where he can't put on a match. But yeah, Triple H. Woody, who are you going with? Moving on, we got AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Now this build, it was a bit slow to start off with, um, and now you're kicking, you're kicking your collar and making loads of noise, thanks. Um, but I am going with AJ Styles because why does, you know, Randy Orton need a win? It's This is one of them matches that either man could lose, but I would prefer AJ to win. It's not going to hurt their credibility. It's not for a number one contender spot. It's not for a championship. It's just... Two people that everyone has wanted to see go at it, going at it on the grandest stage of them all. My pick is AJ Styles. What's yours? Moving on, we've got the big dog! Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. And, um, you know, this match, it's, ra it's Roman deserves a big blow-off win because, you know, he's just, like, not beaten, but he's in remission from leukaemia. And he deserves to win. But it should have been against Corbin. Shouldn't have been against McIntyre. Drew McIntyre should not be in this position. Because he is 100% going to lose. And I do not want that to happen. Because I love Drew very, very much. But yeah. You should have said no, Roman. I can't do Scottish. But yeah, Roman's winning. Woody, what do you think? Next up, we have got the match that I personally am looking forward the most to. The WWE Championship match between the new Daniel Bryan and everyone's new favourite wrestler, Kofi Kingston. Um, and oh my God, do I want Kofi to win so bad. This championship right here, um, I mean, I love mine to bits and I'm glad I made it because it is, well, it, it's going to be a piece of history now. It's just like the, uh, the smoking skull, just not as good looking. But it's time. It's Kofi's fucking time. Kofi is winning at WrestleMania. He's going to beat Daniel Bryan. I hope he comes out to his old SOS theme song in his singles gear. That would be awesome. He's going to hold up this championship. Look at it and be like, this ain't the one I want. This isn't the one I want. Not, no, 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 no. A referee's going to run out with the bat and Kofi's going to stand in the middle of the ring like, yes! And he's going to have this version of the WWE Championship. And it's going to be awesome. And the New Day are going to get in the ring and they're all going to be celebrating together. And he's going to be going... Boom! And, you know, pancakes, bootios. Kofi's winning the WWE Championship. If he doesn't, I'll be very sad. Woody, do you agree with me? Moving on, we have the final main event for the men. And it is Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins, the Royal Rumble winner. My favourite wrestler for the WWE Universal Championship. Seth has said he will do anything in his power to beat Brock Lesnar. And oh my God, do I hope he does. Oh my God, do I hope he beats Brock. Um, obviously, everyone said that Roman was going to beat Brock last year at WrestleMania, and he didn't. And no one expected Brock to win. But now I feel like we're going in it this year a bit level-headed. So people think, well, they swerved us last year. They, you know, they might do it again. So everyone's sort of going in a bit sceptical. And um, because of that, I feel like Seth is, is going to win the Universal Championship. But however, you've got to think about it. Brock Lesnar is a draw and WWE are going to Saudi Arabia like next month. Will they want Brock to go as their champion or will Brock just get a rematch over there? I don't know, but Seth, please win. Woody, do you agree? How dare he pick Brock Lesnar? How dare you pick Brock Lesnar? Anyways, guys, we're moving on to the first ever women's main event of the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And oh my God, the build to this. What is going on? It's mental. Mental. Becky gets suspended. Then Charlotte gets added. Then it was just Ronda versus Charlotte. Then Becky gets back in the match. Then it's just for the Raw Women's Championship. Then it's for the SmackDown Women's Championship as well. So much stuff's going on. This build has literally been going since last year's WrestleMania. I can't even lie. Uh, the rumours going around last year's WrestleMania were it was, it was going to be Ronda versus Charlotte. But obviously, Becky is coming to the mix now. And I think the man's going to take it. If This would be a perfect WrestleMania. 
Um, everyone's saying that how Vince will never let all three people that are, uh, are baby faces win at WrestleMania. You know, we come in to expect that not all three are going to win. So will all three win? I don't know. I hope so. It will be a, a mental picture, all three winning. And it's kind of weird because I thought WWE were going to have the picture of uh, Becky with the Raw Women's, Charlotte with the SmackDown Women's, and Sasha and Bayley and the Four Horse Women actually closing out the show. But I'm not sure. I hope Becky wins. Final prediction, ladies and gents. Woody, who have you got? Charlotte Flair. Interesting. I am. Uh, you know what? I would absolutely love to see what the hardcore Becky fans would react to if Charlotte won. That would be hilarious. They'd be going batshit crazy. And I would, I'd be down to see that because it would just be funny. Um, but yeah, that is my WrestleMania predictions, ladies and gents. I do hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, WrestleMania is of course this Sunday, NXT TakeOvers this Friday, Hall of Fame is this Saturday. I'll probably be watching TakeOver, not live though, because it is going to be at like 1am till like 4am over here in the UK. I'll be watching it in the morning to play catch up. The JTW WrestleMania will be up, I think it's, I've scheduled it for about 11.30 on Sunday, so you guys can watch that. Um, but yeah, once again, WrestleMania week, ladies and gents. We're on the final bit now. The road to WrestleMania is about to come to an end. I do hope you enjoyed these predictions. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section below. Be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. See you at WrestleMania.